What is Ansible Core? What is Ansible Community Package? And in general, what happened to Ansible project after version 2.9? Today, we are going to talk about Ansible Community and Ansible-Core packages released since 2021. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. What happened to Ansible after version 2.9? Starting with version 2.10, Ansible distributes two deliverables, a community package called Ansible and a minimalist language and runtime called Ansible-Core. Yes, was called Ansible-Base in version 2.10, but let's forget. Choose the Ansible style and version that matches your particular need. The Ansible package includes the Ansible language and runtime, plus a range of community curated collections. It recreates and expands the functionality that was include, included in Ansible 2.9. You can choose any of the following way to install the Ansible community package. Install the latest release with your OS package manager. For that enterprise Linux, CentOS, Fedora, Debian or Ubuntu. Or install with pip, the Python package manager. Ansible Community Package Release Cycle The Ansible Community Team typically releases two major versions of the Community Package per year on a flexible release cycle that trades the release of Ansible-Core. This cycle can be extended to allow for a larger change to be promptly implemented and tested before a new release is made available. See Ansible roadmap for upcoming release detail. Between two major versions, Ansible team release a new minor version of the Ansible community package every three weeks. Minor releases include new backward compatible features, module and plugin, as well as bug fix. Starting with version 2.10, the Ansible community team guarantees maintenance for only one major community package release at a time. For example, when Ansible 5.0 gets released, the team will stop making new 4.0 releases. Community members may contain older versions if desired. What is Ansible Core Package? Ansible Core is a command line tool that is primarily for developers and users who want to install only the collection they need. It contains a minimal amount of module and plugin and allows other collection to be installed. Similar to Ansible 2.9, Fort without any content that had since moved into a collection. Ansible Core is the main building block and architecture for Ansible. It includes a CLI tool such as Ansible Playbook, Ansible uh, Doc and all the other tools and others for driving and interacting with automation. You know probably Ansible Inventory, Ansible Galaxy, all these tools. And uh, the Ansible language that uses YAML to create a set of rules for developing Ansible playbook and include functions such as conditionals, blocks, include, loops and other Ansible imperatives. Moreover, there is also an architectural framework that allows extension 
through Ansible Collections, Ansible Core releases a new major release approximately twice per year. And the current one is 2.12. What is Ansible Community Package? Each major release of Ansible Community Package accepts the latest release version of each included collection and latest release version of Ansible-Core. Major releases of the Ansible Community Package can contain breaking changes in module and other plugin within the included collection and or in core for features. The Ansible package depends on Ansible core, previously known as Ansible base. So when you do pip install Ansible, pip installs Ansible core automatically. Ansible 3.0 and following contains more collection thanks to a wider Ansible community reviewing collection against the community checklist. The Ansible community team typically release two major versions of the community package per year on a flexible release cycle that trades the release of Ansible core. Still confused? I hope you are not. Do you want to deep dive on Ansible Core? There is a lot of documentation on the official Ansible website. You can choose your release version or read the latest Devel branch. Here there is this very comprehensive page where you could see all the important information about the porting of the code, how to write any Ansible code, task, play, playbook, working with inventory, interact with data, executing playbook, and how to contribute to Ansible core and extending. This is a great way of dipping dive into this wonderful Ansible core module. And don't forget to take a look on Ansible code roadmaps that might be useful for planning your release. Do you want to know more about the Ansible community package? On the official Ansible pages, you can find more information about the release cycle and what are the currently maintained releases. So let's jump on the current changelog, in my case 5.0, and we are referring to the official Ansible community release note where you scroll down and find out all the included collection, for example, and here you have a list of all the collection available inside this release. So, for example, Ansible.Windows is included and up to date on the latest release, as well as other interesting community community general, community VMware, and other important uh, collections. Do you want to add more? Sure, you still can install manually with Ansible Galaxy, as usual. Where to find the most updated release of Ansible Community Package and uh, Ansible Core 1 to the PyPy website, the Python Package Manager. So let me type here Ansible and let's see the possible result. Yes, this is first is the community package and I can see that the latest release in my case is 5.1.0 of 21st December 2021. And if I'm jumping to download file, I can see that this release is 37.7 megabyte. Just for reference, let me also search for Ansible Core package. Here we are, latest releases, 
2.12.1, released on 6 December 2021, and if I'm going to download file, this is very smaller package, only 7 MB. So now you have a magnitude of how different are the two packages. They are completely... One is so big and the other is so small. It depends by your use case, so choose wisely. Now you know more about the Ansible packages release of Ansible Community Module and Ansible-Core. Choose your flavor and have a lot of fun with Ansible automation. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, write a comment, or be in contact with me and see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!